That is right, ladies and gentlemen, it is you, it is me, it is the owner of NBWD, New Beginnings Window and Door, the Tri-State's premier window and door distributor, and it is Monday, and you know what that means. It is time to meet another member of the great team we have here at New Beginnings Window and Door, and there is no bigger member of the team, metaphorically speaking, because height-wise, you know, not as big, but we have the owner, founder, founding father of New Beginnings Window and Door, Mr. Michael Haynes, the boss, everyone. Michael, thank you so much for joining us and meeting with us today on Meet the Team Monday. Well, I've, I've been waiting for my invite. Let's, I mean, they call me the boss, but like, I've been waiting for my invite for months. So I'm, I'd like to clarify, he wanted to go last. He wanted to be the save the best for last. He wanted, so this is on you. you I don't you, know about the best, but you, he's you, right. Like any classic record album, you put the first song, the biggest track first, and that was me. Now we end with a, with a banger, so... Fair so enough. it's I'll buy that if you sell it. I am selling and windows and doors too. But so let's let's start at the beginning. How did New Beginnings Window and Doors start? Uh, a lot of prayer and fasting. I was I was working for a competitive window and door supplier and uh, I knew God had something better for me. And we just uh, we Domenica and I both, you know, together took a leap of faith and believed uh, beyond belief that this is just where we were supposed to be, what we were supposed to be doing, and um, and God was right, and here we are still doing it. Now, now, like as growing up, a lot of people, you know, they want to be doctors, lawyers, baseball players. What made you get into windows and doors? It found me. Uh, I always just like to work hard. I hated school. I joke, but it's the truth. I graduated high school because my teachers liked me. But that wasn't a I, I know, I know that. Right? So that's why I graduated, but I always liked to work, right? Mm -hmm. Like in high school, I worked like 40, 50 hours a week, and I I got a job in a lumber yard as a young kid, mm -hmm. and I wound up being able to talk like really good, and people that don't know me really well think I'm really likable, mm -hmm. so I can meet a customer, they think like I'm <laughs> this nice Spent guy. 40 hours a week, <laughs> it changes. Um, so that honestly the career found me i found something that i was good at that i liked doing um and i just so i never left it i've been doing it since i was 16 years old so obviously you start new beginnings was was the plan from day one to make it a family owned and operated business or did you just want to be the boss and hire a group of people around you that you had no problem bossing around uh, never a desire to be the boss. Okay. So I still don't have a desire to do that. And and anybody here will tell like I'll never I'll never call anybody in this company an employee, right? I, I'll always I'll always say team member, team member. They're part of our team. They're part of our team. So like I desire wholeheartedly to be nobody's boss. Um, and I envision this. I never had a game plan. I just envisioned it to be more or less a a mom pop operation and um, God was behind it and we made a decision to build it into something bigger because I had two kids that wanted to be in the business. So once they wanted to join in, I said, oh crud, I don't need this to just last yep. until my my retirement. I needed to like live, live beyond me, yep. hence the growth that we've seen, you know, in the last few years. Now, we've we've met most of your family on, on this series, you know, we've met your wife, we've met your sons, we've even met your dog, Titan, um, but who is the most difficult to work with, your wife or your sons? Kristen. <laughs> That was, that was legitimately my follow-up question, because I knew you were going to answer no, sons. No. <laughs> um, <laughs> Christopher. And I... And, and, and I I could not love a human being more than I love him. Yep. Um, uh, my wife is the picture of consistency, mm -hmm. right? Just, just like rock solid human being, glue that holds both in our family and our business, right? Like the glue that holds it all together. Jacob has always been Mr. Like, just again, very consistent, right? He doesn't typically let his highs get too high, his lows get too low, you know, consistency. Chubby is, you know, I, I don't have any, I don't talk to him at work, other than he comes in and sits down at my desk and says, yo pops, let's go, you know, but like he, he he's in the delivery truck, so yep. it isn't like my lane, so to speak. And Christopher's my, you know, he's my roller coaster ride boy. When the highs are high, like, boy, that kid is a superstar, but, but you know, he, 
he rides the proverbial roller coaster. Um, God bless you, I love you, Christopher. But yes, he's the most difficult one. You can watch all of our past Meet the Team Monday videos and decide for yourself who you think is the most difficult to work. <laughs> You'll agree with me. <laughs> windows or doors? Always windows. What kind of windows? Which, like, what is your, like, every guy has a dream car. What's your dream window? I don't have a dream window. I have a lot of dream cars, though, because I am a car guy. Mm -hmm. um, listen, the bigger the better, right? Let more light in and show me more glass. Um, doors, a lot of them you don't see through, right? So you want to begin each day with a beautiful view. If you have a door that doesn't have a window in the door, you're not seeing through it. So we just like big windows looking out on big, beautiful property. Mm -hmm. So we asked who's most difficult to work with. Who's your favorite employee? Well, I only have team members, as we discussed who's earlier. Your, who's your favorite team member? And huh? that is beyond a shadow of a doubt, the missus. It has to be. Um, because, uh, because she's going to watch this and because <laughs> that couch ain't that comfortable. Because there is no envy window and door without it. That's true. I honestly Very true. Do. So I get to be the face of the company, right? Mm -hmm. It's like I'm out there and, 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 and cranky, like, I, you know, we both work hard. You know, but the blue part of it, right? Like, I don't know how to, I would never get my taxes paid. They come and repossess everything mm -hmm. for me, right? Like, she legitimately runs the company. Like, we go make money, yep. right? But like, she runs it, she, she, she makes it happen. So it's gotta be hard. Everybody like talks about being in a rock band, but wants people to be the singer, the guitar player. It's the drummer, which I was a drummer in the band growing up. But the drummer keeps everyone in time, everyone together. She is our drummer and this rock star. There's more people that would be happier. Uh, I'll, I'll buy that, because I'm not a musician. If you say that's the truth about musicians, then I'll, I'll put yeah, my If you go see Bruce Springsteen, Max Weinberg is the man that keeps them all together. Okay. But nobody I nobody is there to see Max Weinberg, Weinberg but me. Okay. So, let's see. Dream golf course. If you could play anywhere in the world, what is the dream golf course you'd want to play 18 holes on? I don't know. You know, I was watching the um, Pebble Beach a couple weeks ago, because I love watching golf on TV. Yep. And that seemed like I could lose 40, 50 balls in a round there. So I'm like, <laughs> the ocean could take my balls. That'd be kind of cool. So I'll go to Pebble Beach. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. Favorite game show of all time? So I don't watch a lot of TV. So okay. I'll, I'll just go with Wheel of Fortune because, because I know some of the answers. There you go. Not the sharpest tool in the shed, but I'm <laughs> Jeopardy's on before it. I scream out the answer a hundred times and I'm wrong 99 of the hundred times. And then I get into Wheel of Fortune, it makes me feel a little bit smarter. Go to bed. <laughs> uh, let's see. If you weren't doing New Beginnings, what would you be doing? I'd be retired. I'm right down in Florida. Yep. I'm down got in my one house foot in out. Florida. I got one foot out the door to that beautiful view. Um, um, no, if I wasn't though, um, I'm an outdoors person. So like, like if you said, you have life to do over. Like if you got to do over, yeah. now I wouldn't do anything over because I have no regrets and love what I do. But like I would have been like a park ranger at a state park or something oh. like that. Like I would have spent 12 months a year outdoors, all types of weather, hiking through trails, and, and I it would be I'd be outdoors. Nice. So obviously it's early here in the morning at our beautiful new showroom coming to you from an undisclosed location. My office. Yes, in your brand new office eventually. We're get, we gonna paint other stuff up here. Uh, you're drinking a cup of coffee, your Always. signature beverage. Describe the perfect cup of coffee to me. It is, it is boiling hot so it burns your tongue. And uh, it used to have like four spoonfuls of sugar in it, but like, I don't know how many years ago I went to just black. So it is, it is just a strong cup, black coffee, no milk, no sugar, and like between eight and 10 of them a day. You know that's such a gross, right? That's, it's, I've it's had clear. one cup of I'm coffee. Almost, it's almost 50, life. it's clearly too late. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the hidden talents? I don't. You know, like, like, truly, you, truly like what you see is what you get with me. I. I you want to call being obnoxiously blunt and straightforward a talent? You I don't want to do it. Um, I am. I. I am probably the most straightforward, blunt person you'll ever meet. I don't think that's really a talent, but but I'm really good at it. It's it's definitely something to admire at times. And then uh, the last thing I have for you. Uh, obviously, you started new beginnings from the ground up and are, and are now a 
highly successful entrepreneur. What advice would you give to a young entrepreneur looking to start their own business? Uh, don't hate Monday morning. <laughs> right? So like, like we're truly, truly, truly like successful in life when we figure out what we're good at meets what we're passionate about. So like, like I grew up passionate about baseball. I love baseball, but I wasn't that good at it. So I couldn't do that, right? So like, so like we, you need to find that balance. Like I call it like there's two lines and it's an X that meets. So like find something I'm passionate about. So like I, I love selling and building relationships with people, but on a one-on-one -on -one basis, right? Like I can, um, and I'm, and I'm really good at it. So like I can wake up on Monday morning after 30 something years and I still am totally passionate about what I do. Um, so first thing you have to do is figure out like that and then um, surround yourself by people smart. Like honestly, you don't always have to be the smartest guy in the world. Like understand like this is what I, like I'm really good at sales. Yeah, like I am and I, and I love it and that's why I'm good at it, right? Because I love it. So there's like, but I'm not good at a lot of the other stuff. So like, I don't pretend to be. I'm like humble, don't be proud. Like I'm humble, I'm not good at that, so I don't do it. I don't. Like, I can't do what you do. I don't have it in me. I can't do what my wife does. I don't have it in me. I can't do what Steve does. Like, God bless him. Like, yep. like I can't be Steve. I, I don't have any desire to be. But like, but he's exceptional at that, right? Yep. So like, pay people to do that. Yep. Same, we commonly refer to it on a weekly basis. Okay. Every meeting we have is stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. <laughs> my lane is, is narrow. And we drive really fast. Yep. In the Miata. So, so there you go. Love my Miata. So that's that's all the questions I have. Do you have anything you want to plug? Any social media? Anything like that? No, I um I don't like you in my junk. So that's why I don't post on social media because I don't let anybody you probably learn more about me now, like that I have a home in Florida because nobody would know that unless you're really, really, really close friends with me or you've asked to borrow my home. Right, like, but you wouldn't know. Yep. Um, you wouldn't know I have a Miata because I don't post pictures of my Miata in front of it. Mm -hmm. um, so no, I, I don't really have social media. I have a secret Twitter account because I'm a troll. I love Twitter. I don't post. That explain, that explain um, that. So no, but uh, so what do I have? Like, gosh, thank you, NB World. Like, none of this happens without our awesome customers. Like. Like seriously, especially my contractors over all these years, uh, none of this happens without you. Absolutely. So uh, we're blessed, thankful. Yes. So uh, yes, but you know what? Social media we can plug whatever the our YouTube MP channel. Is. You can follow our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. There's a button down below. You can check us out on Facebook. You can like our Facebook page there, New Beginnings Window and Door, and Instagram as well. So we're on those channels. Uh, and if you want to know more about Michael, make sure when this is all said and done in stop March, by. stop by the new showroom. When we're allowed to legally give you the address, you can stop by. We'll give you all sorts of goodies. You can ask Michael all sorts of questions and more, which you haven't learned here. So uh, until next time, on behalf of myself, Dave Canning, the owner and uh, leader of this rock star team, New Beginnings Window and Door, we thank you for joining us. And until next time, don't forget to begin each day with a beautiful view. We will see you next time, ladies and gentlemen.